Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am discussing about the bipolar and a unipolar PWM technique for inverter circuit. So you can see on the screen that an inverter circuit is shown which consisting of four switches. Basically this is a single phase full bridge inverter circuit. So basically what is the task of an inverter circuit? It converts the DC input power to AC output power. So our main desired is a sinusoidal output voltage. So how can you get this sinusoidal output voltage? For getting this sinusoidal output voltage, there are many PWM techniques are present in the literature. And the bipolar and unipolar PWM techniques are the part of a sine PWM technique. So in the left hand side, you can see that a sinusoidal modulating wave is compared with a triangular carrier wave. After comparing, the getting signals are generated, which signals are given to the switches. And here you can see that the upper and the lower switches in a same leg will work as a complementary manner, like switch S1 and S2 are turned on at a time. After that, switch S3 and S4 will on at a time. So at first switch S1 and S2 will on and after that switch S1 and S2 will off and at that time switch S3 and S4 will turn on. So when switch S1 and S2 will on, we will get positive VDC voltage in the output and when S3 and S4 on, then we will get negative VDC voltage on the output. Since the waveform of VAV is between positive VDC voltage and negative VDC voltage, that's why it is called bipolar PWM technique because it is totally opposite to each other. And the next one is the unipolar PWM technique. And for unipolar modulation technique, two sinusoidal modulating waves are used as a reference signal. One is a Vm sin omega t and another one is a minus Vm sin omega t and which is 180 degree out of phase. So you can see after comparing two getting signals Vg1 and Vg3 are generated for the upper two switches S1 and S3. And it can be observed that the upper two devices do not switch on simultaneously. So in case of unipolar PWM, all the four devices are switched at the same time. And as a result, the inverter output voltage switches between either positive VDC to zero for positive up cycle and for negative up cycle zero to minus VDC. So that's why it is called unipolar modulation or unipolar PWM technique. In unipolar PWM technique, you can get the three level in the output. So let me do it on the MATLAB. 